These are all fake and they're going around right now. If these were real, they would be worth thousands of dollars. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about some fakes that are going around right this very second. Now, I've got some fakes that I had somebody send me. They bought them not knowing what they were. This is not the first time that I've seen some of these fakes going around. We're going to show them to you up close in just a minute here. And we're going to tell you how to distinguish real ones from fake ones as well. Now, these are postcards right here. This is a Titanic postcard, and it really does look like the real deal. It's a little shiny, but you could easily dirty these up, as I have seen on some of these. There's some really good printing jobs on these. It's really hard to tell unless you have them in person or you know exactly what you are looking for. Someone has taken a great care into making them as realistic as possible. This little stack right here would be worth several thousand dollars, just right here. There are fake baseball cards, fake trading cards, geez, just so many printed materials that I have seen just in the last little while that are fake. Embossed items, letterheads, printed pieces of paper, things that you would never expect would be faked. They even can pass the black light test. So usually with modern day paper and stuff like that, it fluoresces. But due to how these are printed, it does not fluoresce. Let's hop in and look at some close-ups and explain what to look for while you are out there. So here's some close-ups of some of the cards that uh, have been turning up lately. Now, I've seen some of these sell for some good money on online sites such as even eBay. I've seen them put in, say, scrapbooks where someone was buying an entire scrapbook of postcards. And these new ones, these reproductions, were mixed in with real postcards. So obviously it was done to deceive people uh, to some extent. Now, I don't know if these were printed to be deceiving or not to start off with, but they're well-known postcard designs. They're original. The thing on these two they're not copyrighted anymore. They're in public domain because of the age. So someone making copies of these isn't doing anything wrong technically. Now, there's some big giveaways, and we're going to zoom in so you can see some of this. There's some big giveaways on these being real versus fake. Now, this one should have a white border all the way around it. Now, if you look online, you'll see the white border. Now, why is this one important? Well, this is the Olympic, and that was the sister ship of the Titanic, and they basically were identical. So you're going to see both ships mixed and intertwined. Well, size-wise, this is the correct size, but the card is cut off because of how they did the printing process in this. It's not odd to see a card trimmed in real life where someone may have trimmed the edges of it. So in this case, it's not really trimmed. It's the correct postcard size, 3.5 by 5.5, but the card's been blown up to compensate or they cropped it wrong or they got the bleed wrong when they did this. Now, the biggest giveaway is not on the front on this one at all because I've seen them printed just like the earlier ones. Now, this one here has a dot matrix pattern to the color printing on it. Uh, I've seen some other ones that don't have that on it. Some of the original ones have dot matrix printing patterns to it, and some don't as well. But one thing that the originals do not have would be dot printing of the print on the back. This would have been a solid color. There would have been no reason to have printed it in, in dot matrix or anything else like that. The original ones that I have seen are solid printed colors. But if you look at these with the loop, the word postcard in every single line on the back is printed on here with a dot matrix printing technique. Now, I might also add, this is printed on a different color paper, not white. It's printed off-white intentionally on off-white paper. On top of that, the entire back you see here, every single centimeter, inch, millimeter of the back of this postcard has been printed in this color. So none of the actual original paper shows up on these. So if you hold a black light to it, it's not going to fluoresce at all because the ink on here doesn't fluoresce. The paper may have fluoresced, but it's all covered up. Now let's look at a couple other ones here. Now this is another one. 
I looked at these online through some shared images. And just by looking at it, overall, it looks okay. Now, this one should have probably a white border around the edge, possibly, also. A lot of these era ones have white borders all the way around. So it's been blown up. So if unless you know exactly what you're looking at, you may not get that. Now, this is why it was fooling to, to people here. On the back of this one, there's pencil written on there with a note about what happened in the whole works, which is typical what you would see on some of these cards. The only bad part is if you take a loop to all of the writing on here, it is done in dot matrix as well. So once again, little tiny dots put this all together. The entire back, once again, is all printed. Every single uh, spot on here is printed. The Even the, the blank spots are all printed on this card to totally make it look old. So it has smudge marks on some of them. This one here was printed with water stains on this side. Not only that, it has smudges and ink marks on the back. So if you looked at this on an online auction, it looks good as gold, I'm telling you right now. This could easily have fooled somebody. I may not even realize that if they would have aged the front a little better. Uh, but sadly enough, it, it's all printed on here. The water stains on front, all the marks on the back, it's all printed. None of this is original. None of it is real. They're all done that way intentionally. Now, I looked at the back of this one too. This, again, is identical in every little way that you could uh, possibly imagine in printing uh, uh, looks because they literally just copied a vintage Raphael Tuck back and printed it. The biggest difference, though, on this one, again, it all is made of little dots. Biggest difference is there's a little less white spot around the edges as there should be because of how, again, they probably set up the bleed on this. Now, we've printed thousands of postcards of our own artwork and stuff like that. This is just a couple examples of ones that I've printed in professional printing companies. This right here, I could get a 100 of these made for about 40 bucks. And it only would take you fooling one single person just once to get all of your money back and make a profit. So you've got to be very, very cautious on buying all of these sorts of things out here. Now, just because this one here has a dot matrix when you hold a loop up to it doesn't mean that they all do. There are reproductions that are printed in solid ink, so there is no dot printing on it. They're printed in some of the modern home versions of the, the laser printers, and it's extremely hard to tell the difference. So you're going to have to be extremely cautious while you're out there as well. Now, there also are real photo, real picture postcards that are also phony as well. This was portrayed as a gunslinger, lawman photo taken of, uh, they were naming a famous person. It's not a real photo, so it doesn't really matter who the photo was supposed to be. The back on here is printed. This whole back, once again, is not a real photo back. It is printed to look like a real photo postcard back. All the discoloration you see and all the little marks and mars are printed on there. It's not on the actual postcard. It's actually just printed on the back. So even if you see postcards that are photos or Titanic images or anything like that, you've got to be extremely cautious. That goes for what should be expensive baseball cards, expensive Magic the Gathering cards, expensive Pokemon cards. You're going to run into all sorts of other cards here. These are from Yu-Gi-Oh! I've got Pokemon ones, I've got Magic the Gathering ones, all fake. Now here's one that somebody spent a few moments trying to fake on someone. It's a rare card, I would say, but it's a counterfeit. And what they did is they glued another card with the correct back to it. These don't have any Yu-Gi-Oh backs. They're just made to fool somebody who doesn't know any better. I have another one with a, yeah, here's another example. That's what the back of some of them look like. So if you're not paying attention, you can get taken by any one of the major valuable trade cards out there. Now, some of these are like, um, knockoffs some of them have the correct little things the markings on there but they don't match in color the numbering system's wrong there's imperfections in how they were printed here's a couple of interesting ones as well too they weren't printed all fully they were really cheaply printed and some of the color didn't get across them 
They are not original. They're, they're counterfeits as well. Now, some of these were printed not for like individual expensive cards, but were printed just to sell knockoffs of the entire card runs themselves to make all the money. So you've got to be extremely careful. This one actually says replica down there. So if you're not paying attention again, you can really get taken by some of these. And a lot of novices, resellers, and things who don't know the difference on some of these cards may not be looking out for it. They don't all say that on it. Some of these have very obvious differences. Like this one here doesn't have the little hologram. Here's another one doesn't have a hologram on the side there too. Some of the numbering systems used on some of the counterfeit cards don't match up either. So you've got to be very careful. Even though these cards aren't worth a fortune, 20 cents, a dollar, maybe two dollars if they were real and in mint condition, they're still knockoffs. So you've got to be extremely careful. There's little tiny differences in all of these sorts of things. And unless you know those little tiny differences, you can get taken with some of these fairly good counterfeits. Again, baseball cards of any type I've seen popping up. Silver coins that look silver that are lead on the inside. Even ones that are slabbed. Fakes are everywhere. You're going to have to be more diligent right now than ever before if you don't want to get taken. You may not even find out until you've sold an item and then it's returned to you as a fake. And you don't want that happening so that no one's thinking that you yourself are the ones creating the fakes. There's enough of them out there and there's enough counterfeits of high value cards that we run into. This is a whole stack of just Yu-Gi-Oh cards that are all counterfeit. They're all fake, and they're mixed up with real cards. Even the holograms are uh, on some of the fake and counterfeits. A again, because kids don't know the difference when they're looking at it, or even adults who don't know the card games themselves don't know the difference. So if you're not sure, don't shell out the money. You don't want to be taken by clear fakes. And they are in almost every industry that I sell in these days in paper. Printing has come out where you can print pretty much anything you want. The holograms are fairly easy to acquire printed on cards as well now. So you've got to be cautious. Well, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Stop dragging your feet. Wear kitties when you're going to go out on a date. Look great. But do you know your feet need a little love? Kitty knows. What an agonizing, enterprising, hard kind of day you spend working overtime. You. Be a baseball. You. When Good you shop, you need shoes for it all. I say comfort and style. If you're young at heart or young enough to remember, come to Kitty's.